for example, when I was playing like base Gothic 2, we were using a two-handed weapon, and most of the time we didn't have any trouble countering animals the usual way. As in, uh, the way I did it in Gothic 2 is I just waited and and swiped left and right when they when they tried to attack me, and usually we hit with with the right timing. We didn't even have to move at all. Let's see. Road behind the vineyard leading to the swamp. I mean, there's nothing on the vineyards. Oh, you know what? I know what it may be. I think she may want me to go look at that bandit camp. Because there is a bandit camp there. And the lake only updated. The lake only updated after we went close to it. Is there something here? Yeah, there's a mantis. Danger Ryan, what? Mantises are trying to get into the homes of small vineyards. Worker. Maybe she knows how to keep them safe. Obviously, to keep someone safe from a predator, you kill the predator. I mean, what kind of question is that? Come here. Okay, that was... That was kind of an ass move, where he attacked me from the side. Imagine this going through your roof. Yeah, imagine a huge mantis face meeting you when you just wake up at 1am. Because you've heard a sound. Yeah, not, not nice. Anything to pick up here? Some dark mushrooms and that's about it. And this goes... Yeah, okay. This just goes back here. Okay, so... Hello, bowls. What's up? What, what you doing on the, uh, on the bridge here? Stop! There's no passage. There's a charge for passing through here. Any form is accepted. Could be gold, could be decent beer. Uh, how about a punch in the gut? Don't you have anything better to do? You're a man, you gotta make a living somehow. You probably don't know about it. Don't worry about it yet, but like everyone else at that age, you spend your days partying and looking for girls. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, sure, having fun partying, bragging about how you'll single-handedly defeat a bridge troll. Well, in reality, it's a real job you haven't experienced. Well, I do. I did kill some trolls already. There's no trolls like that. Anyways, never mind. Wait a second, I just heard a troll. I heard a big creature just a second ago. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Oh no, that's a that's a bear. There's a bear there. There he is. The game does it a few times where y you do something and then something just spawns behind you, trying to murder you. Do you know how few people walk through this way anyway? Well, I'll make you here, so there'll probably be others. Probably only if they get lost. I always go through the vineyard area because it's faster there. 
The vineyard area you say, maybe it's worth considering. No, wait. Okay, I'll check that area out. Thanks for the idea. Danger around. Yeah, we should probably tell Rita about this. Well, if he tries to rob me, and if he attacks me when I refuse, I'm just gonna kill him. Encouraging trolls, yeah. Well, his dream is to become a bridge troll. Hey, Rita. Some guy is extorting travelers. What? Where? How? Well, he was on the bridge behind the vineyards, but when I talked to him, he decided to come to go somewhere else. That's great. All I need is to attract Warden. Alright, I'll take care of it. Good luck. Good of you to let me know. Yeah, mantises seem to like your land. I noticed they're digging up the ground above your employees' houses. We need to find a way to prevent them from getting inside. I've been planning for a while to install some sort of decent platform over these cottages. Go to my warehouse. There should be some wood there. Take them to s take them and spread them out in the ground. The mantises shouldn't be able to get through them. And don't look at me like that. I'll charge you extra for that. Uh, this is the warehouse again? No, this is not the warehouse. That's her house. Is this the warehouse? Oh, because that's the wine cellar. We better get paid more. Yep. No, this isn't really the warehouse. Does it say where it is? I mean, it's probably one of his small ones down here. Is any of these a warehouse? Oh, this looks like one. Doesn't have a door. Oh, you? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna look into this chest real quick. Do you mind? Okay, we got some lockpicks. Just casually looking, yep. Oh, another really cool thing I like about this mod is... The fact that they changed lockpicking to make it so that, uh, to make it so that whenever you lockpick, and if you quit and you want to save scum, it doesn't work because the lock is randomized. Too far away. Yeah, that's, that looks like a solid job there. I mean, obviously it's gonna work better than killing the mantises, yeah? Oi Rita, I did it! A thousand two hundred fifty experience points. I checked everything. So, was it very dangerous? Do I have anything to worry about? No, it was only dangerous in the pumpkin field, where I got rid of a couple of forest raiders. You're safe from the lake, and I've protected your employees' homes from mantises. As for that tract warden over there, as you called him, you make up your own mind. And it's not as bad as I thought. In the meantime, take care of yourself. I have a lot of work to do here. 145 gold. That's fine. Sweet and semi-sweet wines. You name it, I got it. Do you have perennial wine? Oh, 
it's uh, you do have some let's buy like three let's buy like three and I want to make the boar specialty thing Per meal. Mm. Where is it? Fried boar meat. Okay. We need 15 fried boar meat. This is really good. 125 hit points. it again this one just make 05 it also gives you a permanent one hit point now I want to go kill the bear but I also want to want to what's your problem oh it's nice here I'll have to look around very carefully why are you drinking here so many meat options yep Since I have the potions that give me some strength, and it's actually a really strong potion, like 25 strength from uh, from it, yeah? For 5 minutes. It's not too long. But maybe maybe I want to kill the, uh, the mind crawlers. It all depends how much of a bonus we get from it. So let's just check it out. Quick save here. Rank it. We are strong. Okay. Oh, nice. Three hundred fifty experience points. That's worth it. And yeah, just twenty five points of damage is this good. Okay. Oh, I, I thought this is some kind of object. Come here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I thought I could uh, put him between me and the wall, but that wasn't worth it. It's nice that we don't lose the buff between the quick saves, though. Okay, nothing here. We can mine later. I want. I want to use up as much of the potion as possible. 
that's an iron deposit. Oh, wait, there's nothing more to dig. Okay. Ooh, ore nuggets. A magic ore deposit. Very nice. Let's save Scummit. Oh! We got eight. First try. Very, my, very nice, very nice. Last time I tried to save Scum, one of these nodes, it was like in the uh, northwest of where I am right now. I did it like five times. I only got maximum of five each time. So uh, this is very, very nice. So right now we have like, what, 18? 17. We got 17 ore nuggets. 41 shards. Well, that's nice too. Yeah, like we got four iron chunks. Whatever. It's fine. We have we have a lot of iron, don't we? Don't even know where it is. Yeah, we have like a hundred nuggets. I think I'm gonna be fine without, uh, like, safe scumming iron nuggets. A hunter's belt. What if it's like silver, gold, or magical ore? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, we got A here. Um, a hunter's belt is actually okay. Now. What I have is a strength belt plus five strength, which is nice. Wait a second. If we quick save and then we quick load. Something's not right here. I still have the bonus, but I'm pretty sure it's already been five minutes. Since we checked that out. Does the buff stay? I don't think it's active anymore, because we need like... No, we need 80. No, it's still active. I don't think it gets refreshed. Maybe, maybe just my... My perception of how much time passed is wrong. That's possible. Well, whatever. Wait, I'm lost. Where's where's the exit? This way? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, no. The, uh, the buff just ran out. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try the same thing with the black bear. Oh, this wouldn't be a bad idea. You know what? Since I can't get one-handed above 40% right now with the trainer I know, maybe it would be just more useful to use the 30 learning points I have to get 15 points of strength. You know what? That's a good idea. I just need to figure out who's the guy who teaches me strength. That's Trader City. Teacher City. Uh, Odgar is a blacksmith. Oh, yeah, okay. I know where he is. I know where he is. Or alternatively, since I only have Terry. The guy that teaches everything can probably teach me a little bit too. Is 
The city of Arcolos. The, uh... The Merchant's Guild. And from here, we had to go this way. Sure, get a gold. It's fine. I'm actually surprised that I don't have a lot of money right now. I got paid a lot just just a little bit ago. Somehow I'm still poor. Oi. Teach me to be stronger. I want to be strong. So my gold. I'm poor. That's also all of my learning points. And it's okay. We do have 96 strength right now. Which is nice because if I find a really nice weapon, I would be able to use it. Strong and mighty, not poor. Yeah, I mean, a little bit poor. Wait, where was the way? This way. Oh, I could be doing some bounty hunts too. Okay, I give it to Rita. Let's see. Wonder posters. Uh, Silback, Valerius Vineyards, Silback, wood Woodcutters, Traders traveling between the city and the Valerius Vineyards. Scavengers. Uh huh. Slick hand. Okay. I mean, it is like worth like a hundred gold, so it's nice. If we could get, if I, if I can get about like a thousand two hundred gold, I think it would be worth it if. I uh, spent it on a chainmail, a medium chainmail, and then upgraded it with bonus defenses. I do want to go to the swamp though, see what's up. Okay, first I'm going to drive this without... Uh, without the potion. Because if I'm going to be doing decent damage, we, we just got 15 more strength. So it's, it's not nothing. Yeah. If we crit him... If we crit him, we can do decent damage. Okay, okay, that was that was bad. Or we could alternatively just uh, just drink the potion and do it quicker. Thank you. 
Got you. It's not too difficult. It's more difficult than a troll, but uh, it's not too difficult. And we don't have to waste uh, a potion, which is really nice. Now, does he have anything precious around here? Because this has to be worth something, yeah? Blue Elder. Well, maybe not here, but maybe in the cave? It goes down. Well, I... Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I think the next three level ups, I'm gonna get... Strength up to 60. And then I'm gonna start saving my level ups. Ideally, to learn one-handed skill. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, we got some goblins, and that's basically it. As long as they're not cursed goblins, I'm gonna be fine. Because the cursed skeleton goblins are super tough. I also see, see some iron nodes. And I think some loot. I see a scroll, a potion, some mushroom. I, I, I see a few magical items. Is it really just three of them? Yeah, just three of them. Oh, there's another part of the cave, okay. Start from here. If it's just an iron deposit, I don't think we need to save scum of them anymore. Let's see. Transform into meat book, essence of healing and light. Okay. Transform into meat book may be useful just in order to uh, get some cool stuff. Like be able to bypass a uh, locked gate or something. 